Uh, hello friends, uh, this is Peter Samuels again and uh, I've come back with another review and I've met you after so many months and today I'm going to review something very different from what I've reviewed previously. Uh, previously I've reviewed uh, many uh, Victorinox, uh, you know, Swiss knives and a few watches but today I'm going to review a watch but a very different one. It's a Swiss watch but very different from the Victorinox and it comes in the premium sector, in fact the luxury sector of the watch market this is the uh, new uh, Rolex Submariner uh, which is a, a synonymous name and not only in the Rolex house but uh, all, of the, all over the world for in fact in the watchmaking industry for the uh, uh, for in the diving watcher sector so here it is the one which I picked up the what this watch is in uh, gold and uh, stainless steel and the bezel as you can see is in blue and some markings are in gold uh, and inside it it's in uh, the the markings are in white color and the hands are in gold so this is a beautiful Rolex as you can see then there's the magnifier date magnifier which is a iconic uh, signif uh, significant feature for Rolex watch uh, today is 11th as it's showing then uh, this is the uh, screw down uh, crown uh, you know and the unidirectional rotating bezel which is you know synonymous with diving watches and you know very synonymous with the Rolex obviously Rolex Submariner and uh, Sea Dweller series uh, the difference between the Submariner and the Sea Dweller is Sea Dweller is a thicker case and uh, more the, it's, uh, the case size is more and uh, there's no magnifier for the date and uh, but the features are almost the same and it's more water resistant so it's more for extreme diving compared to this I'm going to show you by wearing my watch hands on you can see the beautiful watch the beautiful automatic movement by Rolex the sound, crisp sound of the unidirectional rotating bezel well for those of you who are novices here for, the watch, uh, for diving watches this is actually used for timing the dives for timing the oxygen for example I started my dive at uh, uh, you know here at uh, 5.50 so and my oxygen time is 20 minutes so it will end at uh, 6.15 my dive time should end at 6.15 here so I'll know my oxygen has end, is running out I'm running out of oxygen so I'll come back to the surface so it's useful for that but I love this feature you can play with this and uh, I do dive so I do take this watch but probably I'm gonna, I've am i got to say that most Rolex owners won't uh, take their uh, watch for a dive or maybe even for swimming or even for they won't even wash their hands when uh, this watch is on they'll remove it and wash their hands as you can see the logo is there on the safety uh, clasp I mean the safety lock on the clasp uh, here, uh, here you can see the Rolex logo. Then the, the there is uh, this is in gold, and this part is in stainless steel. As you can see here, right here, beautiful watch, excellent. Then the sides of the bezel are for, are for made of gold. I'll open it and show you the watch. It's very it's made to fit, and you know I just picked this watch uh, a week back. Uh, last uh, Saturday uh, I was actually passing through uh, passing by a Rolex boutique here and I just saw this watch uh, on the show and I just uh, decided to go in and check it out and I love the watch and I you know I absolutely fell it fell in love with it and it was love at first sight and then I uh, gave them the money and they delivered it in uh, two to three days at my house you can see the, it's, uh, <coughs> the case uh, the case is uh, 40, uh, 43 millimeters and you can see the case the case back as you can see there's nothing written actually there was a, gr a green Rolex sticker but I removed that and then this watch is water resistant to 300 meters that is a thousand feet as Rolex claims that the, the summer in is uh, water resistant to 300 meters or a thousand feet and it's uh, written here uh, wait I I can show you that it's written here. Uh, here, it's written Rolex Submariner Oyster Perpetual Date, uh, 300 meters, 1,000 feet, water resistant, officially certified, uh, and all that, all those things are written here. And then I can show you the screw down crown. This is a screw down crown. You just need to screw it down like that, like that. Yeah, and to open it and lock it here, you can screw it. You can hear the crisp Rolex sound, the crown too. 
and you can see the smooth movement of the autom of the second hand in the Rolex autom that's the Rolex automatic movement such a smooth movement I mean I absolutely love it it's a brilliant movement uh, yeah <coughs> and I'm gonna <coughs> show you then there's the uh, there is written Rolex uh, I can show you it's written uh, Rolex right over here uh, here it's written Rolex it's written Rolex right over here you may be not a you may not be able to see but still it's written here Rolex and then there's uh, it's, it's written here Rolex and then the numbers some numbers are written over here and we'll wear it and it's very comfortable to wear and I can wear it all day long I wear it every day to work to my work and today was a Sunday so I decided to review it after a week uh, I just love the watch it's brilliant you can see the Rolex Submariner uh, it's written here uh, the it's written Rolex Submariner 300 feet water resistant to 1000 feet or 300 meters and you know most people think that uh, Rolex is a watch brand which is you know only for sh people want to show off for both their wealth and money but I don't believe that I don't agree I feel that uh, Rolex is actually a very iconic watch brand which has uh, made one of the first watches which made in fact the first watch to be water, water resistant up to a hundred meters and this was introduced back in 1953 and this is the current model so it's it's made a watch which is a legendary watch and a revolutionary watch you can just tell with the movement that is so uh, the watch uh, you know, speaks for itself the movement speaks for itself it's an in-house movement rolex movement caliber 0.1403 movement then uh, the it speaks for itself and i found it i found that the rolex suits uh, my needs the most and the rolex watches are the best because uh, you know it's so beautiful and well crafted that I fell in love at uh, I felt that it's love at first sight and I love this watch which is a an excellent watch and I bought it as a present for myself because uh, on my birthday which is a week away so I feel this is an excellent watch and you know very revolutionary and legendary and you know you know it's a brand that you can recognize the crown uh, logo the Rolex you can just recognize it anywhere and the word Rolex, it's synonymous with watchmaking. So that is why I feel it's a revolutionary watch, and it's not for people who want to show off their wealth or boast about their wealth, who want to uh, look cool and show off. No, it's for people. It's for it's also for people who uh, love their, uh, who love uh, these type of watches. You know, it, you know, it speaks to my personality. The watch speaks my personality. So I felt that yeah, this speaks. My, this is the best watch I can buy. I was looking at Omega Seamaster too, but I felt that this was this a better choice, so I went for this, and I'm very happy with what I went for, and I'm still so excited about buying this watch. And it's you know it's brilliant, and thanks for watching the review. This is the this was the review of the Rolex Submariner, uh, uh, Rolex Submariner watch, and which I recently brought. But uh, thank you for watching the review. Please uh, give a thumbs up if you like it, and please comment. Thank you.